Yakking with you, Jagoff. We're here at Latitude 40, and we are yakking today with Sharon Massey. Sharon, welcome to the program. Thank you. You're gonna love her, because the reason why I really like everything she does is because she makes things with the name Jagoff on it. Uh, Sharon makes metal jewelry. And Sharon, tell us a little bit about the jewelry. Okay, um, it's all handmade. Um, I use primarily my jeweler saw. Um, you can see this teeny little blade that like cuts that. tiny little details like this little jag off. Um, <laughs> a little jag off, I like that. <laughs> um, so this is sort of in progress. I do most of my work by hand like this and solder it down. Um, I have my studio in my kitchen right now actually. I um, have a torch and my saw and I just do everything by hand. That's a belt buckle? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that, you gotta love that. So, um, how'd you get involved in all this and, and why Pittsburgh words? Well, I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. I went to art high school, fell in love with metalsmithing, went to college, got a Bachelor of Fine Art in, in Sculpture and Jewelry Metals, got a Master of Fine Art in Metal Design. Um, so I've been doing it for a long time. When I moved to Pittsburgh about four years ago, I saw that there was a real need for handmade jewelry. There's so many Pittsburgh items that are available to people, but mm -hmm. there wasn't really like handmade jewelry. So oh, okay. I thought this would be a great niche to fill and started making jag off stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I found you on Twitter yes. and uh, I searched the word jag off and you like come right up there, which is oh, awesome. Yeah. And you're not one actually. But, uh, <laughs> the funny thing I find is let's go back to this thing is that, so you have this the saw and you cut this little thing out of sheet metal Yep. and what kind of patience are we talking about there? Well I use a really small drill bit obviously to get in those little spaces and this probably takes me about 30 minutes. Wow. I mean I'm really fast I've been doing it for a long time. Um, a little bit of patience. I do teach this to people and I'm sure all my students would freak <laughs> out if I asked them to do this um, but you know it's, I enjoy the process. Yeah when you're like sawing it you know, I would have my tongue out, drooling, I like guess, are you just kind of very dainty about it? I am dainty. Some people well, make the saw face, but I'm really <laughs> <laughs> calm and meditative about it. So you're probably the kind of person with those kind of patients that literally would sit through four red lights somewhere along in Pittsburgh and not deep at the person in front of them, right? Exactly. Those kind of yeah. patients, uh, Sharon. So, so where can people find all of your stuff? Do you go to gallery? Are you in galleries or shows? Or how do they find um, Mostly the Mattress Factory Museum Shop okay. is where I keep them stocked pretty well. They sell stuff really regularly for me. Uh -huh. um, sometimes I'll do other uh, you know, handmade shows around town, but I've, I'm so busy with teaching that I have a hard time with that. So mostly yeah. Mattress Factory is the best place. Gotcha. So listen, here's the deal, is that we are here at Latitude 40. This is their wood-fired oven, and why would we not take advantage of it? I'd like to challenge it to make, they're gonna help us make a pierogi pizza. A, we're gonna call it a jagoff pizza. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to challenge you to a throwdown, sort of like a jagoff throwdown of a pierogi pizza. Are you interested? All right, you're on. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> okay. All right, Vince. Vince is the chef here at Lab 240, yes, sir. and he's going to show us how to make a Jagoff pizza. I've got to throw down. This is Sharon from Jagoff Jewelry. Yes, All right. Uh, so, do you think you can show us how to make a Jagoff pizza? Yes, sir. I can do that. All right. What's the first thing we have to do? First thing that we do, Lab 240, is wash your hands. All right. I'm going to see, but wash my hands. All right. Now, while I wash my hands, I'm going to see the birthday song. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday to me. Then I'm gonna make sure all my hands, make sure my hands rub off real good. Then after that, I'm gonna go over and grab some gloves. Put some gloves on. All right, we'll wash our hands. I'll let Sharon go first. Sharon, this is the last time during this interview I'm gonna be a gentleman because it's a throwdown okay. now. Yeah, there you go, you're doing real good. Real good, real good. Can I get more? Yeah, nah, you're doing real good. That's a little bit more, you should be all right. Yeah, there you go. Hey, thanks. Can you make that pizza? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> All right, try it. Sure. Okay. All right. Put the, um, oh, so we're going to put cheese on this now. Yeah. Vince, I'm going to need some help with that again. Okay, all right. All right, <laughs> going to need some help with that. Go ahead, Sharon, keep working there hard. No, nothing going on here. Get the cheese all the way around here. Well, all the mix of crannies on it. Sharon, hey. that looks good, but I think mine's doing, <laughs> look, mine's doing much better. 
Make sure we get everything on it. Perfect. Perfect. Come through the oven. Right here, just slide off the south board and board. All right, yeah. I guess. Yeah. There, there you go, there we go. Yeah. Right. Oh, there we Fantastic. go. Uh oh, 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 we can fix that. <laughs> we can fix that. There you go. <laughs> well, Vince, I don't know about you, but I think I won this thing hands down. My pizza was, it looks awesome. It's Sharon, I'm sorry to say, but I think I beat you. I think you cheated. Look at all the money in his pocket, you jagger. <laughs>